Hi all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you some testing I did of my DEFA electrical block heater. You see, uh, in Belgium last Sunday it was only one and a half degrees outside, so ideal weather for some testing. Here's the car, stood overnight outside. It was cold, um, some eyes on the windscreen, you see the cable connected in the grill not connected yet to the mains and now we're gonna have a look in the car to see what that says about temperature my phone is already connected with the Torque Pro application So it's 3 degrees, that's possible, dashboard says 1 degree, thermometer outside says 1.5, you see there's some ice on the windscreen, and let's plug it in. Now we see some fast forwards until we reach 4 degrees took a few minutes but for you guys only a few seconds there we are and that's the way I worked I wrote down all this data all those temperatures you see and I made a, I made a graph of it Here it is, and uh, the most important fact is that it takes 2 hours and 23 minutes to reach maximum temperature. That means 38 degrees above ambient temperature. But half of that is already reached after less than 30 minutes. And after 1 hour of heating you need another 1 hour and 23 minutes to gain a poor 10 degrees Celsius extra. So my advice, don't leave it in uh, for more than 60 minutes and even 20 minutes is beneficial and everything above 1 hour is a waste of electrical power. I couldn't resist and I took my car out for a spin because it was heated up anyway. You still see the 43 degrees. The steam is starting it up and typical for a preheated engine it will drop in temperature with approximately 5 degrees because the water in the heating circuit comes into the engine but you will also see once you start driving it takes only a few seconds to get back to 43 uh, degrees celsius There we are, and now again I did some fast forwards because I wanted to continue driving until we reach 90 degrees, the normal operating temperature of this car. Meanwhile I did some testing, couldn't resist, switched on and off uh, the heating to see if that, uh, that shows on the graph that I was going to make afterwards. You even see the thermostat opening up. Once you reach 88 degrees, you will notice that the temperature will drop a bit and then comes back because the opening uh, of the circuit to the radiator. There it is, 88, and then goes back. 26 and 90 degrees and 
all these data I have put them also in a graph for anybody who's interested in such data. Um, the most important thing it takes another 30 minutes to reach the normal operating temperature um, even when the engine is preheated. This of course is in case of no highway, never above 70 km per hour and you can see all details. Eh? You can push uh, the pause button on YouTube and uh, you can start uh, studying it. So thanks a lot, I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye.